up YouTube, it's Anthony for CompSci Studio and welcome back to your 33rd Java programming tutorial. So today we're going to be learning about methods with multiple parameters. Now if you guys remember it was back in our like 23rd tutorial or something like that, we were um, we made a method that uh, set a value to a variable and the way we did that is we made a method that you pass a value through its parameters so this stuff right here, this is a parameter in the main method. I should probably go over that sometime. Maybe in our next tutorial or something. I'm gonna teach you guys what the string args is. Um, it's basically command line arguments. You don't use it that much, but yeah, I may as well teach you guys sometime. So yeah, maybe in the next couple tutorials, I'll teach you about that. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, so multiple parameters. Uh, yeah, so today we're just gonna be learning about how to pass more than one parameter um, to our method. So yeah, let's get started. Oh yeah, and before I uh, begin, uh, basically with this tutorial, what this program is going to do is we're going to be passing a name through our, uh, to our method and an income value, and basically it's just going to display it out uh, in the console as a basic string. So it's really easy, it's just going to take two parameters, the name and the income of the person, and it's going to display it out in a simple string. So let's start off by making our method. So let's start off public void. Oh, I remembered static void because we're going to be uh, putting this method into our main method, which is also static, so you need that. So public static void. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, I don't know, what are we going to call it? Uh, print, print stuff or something, I don't know. Can't think of a name right now. I'm not very creative, so yeah, deal with it. Uh, so our first parameter that we're going to be inputting is a string, so the person's going to input their name, so that's going to be in the form of a string, so string name. And then how you uh, um, put multiple parameters into your method is you just separate them with commas, so it's pretty simple. So the next thing we're going to be inputting is the income, so int um, income, and then just finish off your method. And then basically all we're going to do is we're just going to make a simple system.out. All right, and basically we're just going to say my name is plus name. Uh, and I'm a boss because I make yeah, plus income and end with a semicolon. So, I think I went over this, I should have went over this, if I have, well, I'll do it just in case I didn't go over it. Basically what this is, if you see all these plus signs, I'm just, it's called concatenation, it's basically where you attach a string to another piece of information. So basically if you're inputting a variable um, in with a string, you just need to add plus signs between them, just to say that you want to join this into one big string of text. Uh, so yeah, that's basically all that is. Um, so yeah, that's all this method's really going to do is when you call it, um, you're going to input some values into it, and that's going to print it on the screen. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to pop up into our main method here and make a scanner because we're going to get user input is equal to new scanner and system dot in. And instead of making a variable for, let's just add this one more quick. Uh, instead of making a variable for uh, the name and the income, what I'm going to just do is I'm going to just put down our print stuff method. And then inside of here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go sc.next uh, because that's, that's going to just take the value of the string. So this is the first parameter here. And then you put your comma down because you want to input the income next. So sc.next int because your uh, income is an integer value. And that's all you have to do. So basically it's gonna come down to here, it's gonna be like, okay, I wanna use this print stuff method. So I'm gonna take a string and I'm gonna take an integer and then I'm gonna throw it into this print statement and bam, prints it on the screen. So I'll run this file and I'll show you guys what I mean. Oh, yeah, I probably should. Yeah, whatever, I know what to do. Um, I was just going to say maybe we should make a prompt to the user what to type in, but I know what I'm doing, and I'm sure you know what you're doing too. So basically the first thing you want to type in is your name, and then my income, uh, $100,000, I wish. 
So it says, my name is Anthony, and I forgot to put a space there because I'm dumb, and I'm a boss because I make $100,000. So that's it for this tutorial pretty much. And I'd just like to thank all you guys for subscribing. I got a huge wave of subscribers today. Well, it's not that big, but I consider it pretty big. I got like four subscribers in one day, so that was pretty sick. And I got like, I don't know, 79 views or something in one day. So thanks a lot, guys, for subscribing and watching my videos. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.